Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. I'd like to show you how to find and fix slow consumers using Confluent Control Center. I'm using the Control Center demo we've got set up on GitHub at Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. We've got a whole separate video showing you how to get this thing set up. Make sure you watch that and follow along with the steps to get the demo environment set up if you haven't yet already. That'll let you follow along with all the steps in here and do exactly the things I'm showing. Now, finding and fixing slow consumers is critical in real-time applications where you're expected to be able to produce and consume messages with as little latency as possible. That might seem obvious, but trust me, this is a bread and butter problem that you need to know how to tackle. Kafka might be rock solid, your admin skills might be beyond reproach, but who knows who's writing those consumers? Those could be slow and problematic for any reason at all. So let's learn how to defend ourselves. Now, all the consumers in our demo app work just fine. So we're gonna simulate a slow consumer using Kafka's quota feature. We're gonna rate limit consumption from the broker side to just one of our consumers. We're gonna apply the quota to just one of two consumers in a consumer group and then compare them. We'll have one good, normal, fast one and one slow one. We'll make the difference stark so it'll be easy to see. Now in Control Center, here we are in the streams monitoring view. At the top, you can see an aggregate view of consumption for all consumers. Let's scroll down to a particular consumer group, one called App. Uh, it's a great name. Now let's click on Details. At the top of this detail view is another aggregate consumption graph, but this time just for consumers in this group, not all consumers globally like on the last page. See this little number two over here? Uh, that's the number of consumers in the group. And when I click it, I see what they're called. They're called Consumer App 1 and Consumer App 2. Those are also great names. Then on the other side, we can see the topic partitions they're consuming from. That's partitions zero and one of the Wikipedia parsed topic. And if we look at the two consumers, remember that's Consumer App 1 and Consumer App 2, we can see the relative performance of the two. If you look at the average latency of Consumer App 1, you see around 9 or 10 milliseconds and about the same thing for Consumer App 2. They're in the ballpark of a good number. Now, I'm going to go out to the shell and add a throttle to one of the consumers. I'm doing this with a script that applies artificially low byte rates on one of the consumers. Again, this is on the broker side. So the consumer in reality is perfectly healthy, but we're setting this throttle in order to make it seem slow to Control Center, which is just observing this from the outside. Now let's go back to Control Center and see what it looks like. We're looking at stream monitoring for the consumer group. Remember, the group here that we're concerned with is called App. And look at that. The latency has spiked in the most recent measurement. Consumer App 1 latency has gone from a quite respectable 10 milliseconds in our little container system here running on a laptop to, I don't know, like two or three seconds and getting worse. I think that's probably bad. I don't know what your SLAs are, but we'll go ahead and say that that's a problem. Meanwhile, Consumer App 2 is still ticking along fine, sub 20 milliseconds, looking great. Now, let's say I'm an operator and I noticed this slow consumer for the first time in the Control Center UI. And I thought, hey, that's bad. Maybe it'll go away, but I'd like to know if it ever happens again. I can actually set up an alert so I don't have to just watch this browser tab all the time. You can do that by navigating to alerts over on the left. I'm not gonna do that yet. We have another whole video dedicated to that topic, but just so you know, this is the kind of thing you'd want alerting on so you don't have to be watching it synchronously all the time. Furthermore, if I look at this consumer, I can see which partitions are impacted. I can see the consumer's latency is this terrible now 13 seconds or whatever it is, and view details tells me that it's partition zero that this consumer is reading from. Now let's navigate over to Consumer Lag. That's new as of Control Center 5. When I click on it, we see a list of all the consumer groups set up in our demo environment in CP Demo. When I click on App, which remember is our brilliantly named consumer group, we see these two markers for the two consumers in the group. And we see that Consumer App 1 is way behind Consumer App 2. This is exactly the insight we'd want if we're looking for slow consumers. And here again, I have an opportunity to set up an alert on this if I don't want to make a living watching this screen. 
From the perspective of an application developer and with only application development tools available to you, you really can't see enough to measure latency in this way. It'd be really hard to do. You'd have to instrument your code pretty radically. Somebody might be telling you you aren't meeting your application SLAs for latency, but you can't verify that. You can't measure much. You can't see why. Control Center makes it easy to find slow consumers with high latency. It enabled us to identify the latency quantitatively. We actually had a number identify which consumer groups were affected, then which consumers, which brokers, and even which partitions are impacted. So I hope you're starting to see how Control Center is a little bit like X-ray vision for your Confluent platform cluster. It makes potentially really difficult things like diagnosing slow consumers easy.